Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to create a random text colour generator. Now in this simulator here I have an example of what we were creating today. We have a simple round red button and our label. Every time we hit our round red button the label would generate a random colour. So if we hit the button it's gone green, yellow, orange, orange again, red, green and yellow and so on and so on. So I'll be showing you how to create this day so already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it text color generator for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we need to do is add our outlet and action button so go to our viewcontroller.h and just after the UI view controller hit bracket and press enter and I'll type out IB outlet UI label space asterisk and I'll simply name the label labels for so it's easy to understand when we come to the coding and just after the second curly bracket there we need to add our action button so we do dash bracket capital IB action bracket and I'll simply name the button random color and that raised semicolon and save that and we need to go to our viewcontroller.m and just after the implementation of our view controller, I'll press enter quite a bit so we can clearly see what we're typing out. And we do dash bracket IB action again. And the name of it, which we named it random color space bracket and press enter. Now we need to add the code for our random generator. So we do our int space text color space equal space rand bracket bracket space percentage sign and now the number of outcomes we could want so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to only want it to randomly generate between five colors so we enter number five if you want ten colors you will put the number ten so and so on and so on and we do n um and a semicolon, sorry, and then press enter, switch, and in the expression, we do the name of our int, which is text color. In the consonant here of the case, we do zero, and in this statement here will be the line of code which will generate our first color in our label. So we do label dot text color space equal space bracket UI color space, and the first one will be our red color and a bracket and a semicolon. Now if you just copy here the whole of this case to the break and then paste out five of them changing the case number on each of them so you want so it starts with zero one two three and finally four we don't need to do five as our case zero is already counted as one so there's, four, um, there's five all together but the number only goes up to four so is enough to understand and what we need to do now is change the color of each of the cases so the first one changes to our red color we can have the second one change to our blue color the third could change to green the fourth could change to orange and the fifth will do yellow now you can add many more for like purple or gray or cyan there's a lot more colors to choose from but I'm just going to do five just so it's easy to get through the tutorial a lot quicker. So then once we've done that, we can save that and go to our viewcontroller.xib where we're dragging our round rec button. Make it wide enough. And I'll simply give it a name random text colour. And then we drag in our label. Make this pretty pretty big. And I'll center the text and I'll increase the text size so we can clearly see the text color when it gets changed. So I think that's fairly big now. Click on File Zoner and link up our connections to our label to our label and our random color to our random text color button. So make sure that's touched down. We can save that and then go straight to Build and Run. Now once it's loaded, as soon as we hit our random text color button, 
our label changes to a, one of the five random colours or options to choose from. So we have a bit of green at the first there. We have yellow, orange, orange, red, green, yellow, orange, etc, etc. So just randomly generates from a selection. So that's simply how you create a random text colour generator. It's a fun little feature to add in your apps. So I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. Please like and favourite the video as it really does help us gain a wider audience and helps more developers out by watching our tutorials. Please um, send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. And most importantly, most importantly, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Also check out our apps which are currently on the App Store. Subs by simply searching Geek11 on the App Store. And most important one of you all, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see. Or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklemon.com and check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.